Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going uh, to just focus on creating a simple geometry and using the mesh tool in Ansys Fluent because I've seen people having problem really with using the mesh tool in Ansys Fluent or this workbench workbench package. So I'm here. I'm just trying to focus on using the mesh tool. And for that reason, I'm going to create a very simple geometry, a 2D, a two-dimensional uh, pipe, which is a simple rectangle. Uh, here I have brought my fluid flow CFD uh, fluent package uh, to the right, and I have uh, made this to 2D, the analysis type to 2D. Uh, if I double click on the geometry, the space claim will start shortly. I guess it will take a few seconds. Okay, my space claim is now open and uh, I'm ready to start my sketching. To start the sketching, you have to make sure that you have selected the sketch mode on the top side here. And then, since I want to generate a two-dimensional uh, simple rectangle, and I would like to do it on my XY plane, I have to change my sketching uh, plane from XZ, which is currently selected to XY. For that reason, I would select the new sketch plane, and then I select XY plane, and then I will just uh, click on this plane view, to make sure that I'm on the right XY plane and start sketching my simple rectangle here. So for sketching the rectangle, I click on the rectangle on the sketch uh, bar on the top side. And then I start from the axis, I mean the center of the axis. And then here you can see that my unit is in millimeter and I'm not happy with that and I would like to change it to meters. Uh, this is very simple. You select a file and then a space claim options. And on the units, uh, you can see that you can change the units of the length from millimeters to meters. And I press OK. Now my units is changed to meter. So this is my, the radius uh, of my uh, pipe. And for the radius, I would like to have 0.1 millimeter. And then by just pressing the tab, I go to the length. For the length, I will select two meters and then I just press enter. Now my geometry is created. If I click on return to 3D mode, you can see that my geometry is actually on the right side. I just need to zoom out. Maybe, yeah, use this zoom and then zoom extent now you can see that my uh, simple rectangle is uh, on the XY plane created here so this is uh, as simple as you can see here this my geometry is created and then I would like to move to the mesh part once my geometry is created I double click on the mesh then you can see that the physics in CFD, I'm using this for uh, running the simulation later on in the Fluent. So you can see that my mesh tool is uh, actually starting up. Here it is. Uh, it takes a few seconds to load my geometry. Now you can see my geometry that is loaded on the mesh tool. Uh, this is a simple rectangle and uh, the dimensions are 0.1 meter on the radius and 2 meters on the length. Uh, so if I just uh, use the, the default options and just make the generate button on the top side to, to see what kind of mesh it gives us uh, really. So you can see that it's giving a really coarse mesh. Uh, on the radius side, you can see that there is no 
division it's just giving one unit uh, in the whole diameters it's just one unit cells or one mesh and uh, this is uh, equally distributed in the length uh, in two meters length so if I want to modify this mesh a little bit I would start with uh, generating some uh, uh, sizing actually I would like to change the sizing of the uh, meshes so if you right click on the mesh and then insert and then sizing and then I would like to change the sizing of the edges of these two edges on the top and the bottom then I have to select the edge and then I select this one make sure that you, that you take the control and then the second one and then I in the on the left side on the geometry I press apply so, so you can see that two edges are selected and then I would like to choose the type from the element size to the number of divisions and here in the number of divisions I can uh, select like 100 which means that I would divide my two edges to 100 uh, parts and then I would simply just press OK now you can see that this is really divided to 100 pages 100 divisions I would do the same for this part insert sizing so actually you select this edge right click insert sizing and then this edge is now selected you can again change the element size or the number of divisions sorry number of divisions to 10 and then press ok and you can do the same for this side right click insert sizing and the number of divisions to 10 now you can start to generate your mesh and see again what happens so you can see that the mesh is now created but it's it's not really what we would like to see this you can see that the meshes here are um, concentrated around these edges and uh, on the right side these edges this is not uniformly distributed mm, to have a really nice mesh uh, uniformly distributed mesh uh, there is an option in mesh that you can do that you can go to mesh insert and then again this face meshing this is called uh, face mapping before and now this is called face meshing in this new version so if you click on the face meshing and then you just go and select your whole face and then press apply on the geometry you would see if I generate this again uh, you will immediately see the difference now now you can see that the mesh is more or less uh, fully distributed along, along the, the length uh, the concentration of meshes that you have on the left side and the right side is kind of disappeared uh, but yet again this is not exactly what we wanted this is a little bit you can see that there is there are some distortions here and there and it's not exactly fully uniformly distributed so if I go to the, the edge sizing for the top and uh, for these two edges on the top and the bottom and I change the behavior of this uh, uh, edge sizing from soft to hard and then press to generate again now you can see that uh, this is more or less uh, uniformly distributed along the, the, the length of the pipe uh, there is another thing you can do since this is a pipe and this is the wall uh, there is always uh, uh, a no slip condition on the wall side and there is a boundary layer actually happening on the wall side so if you want to have a better uh, capture of the boundary layer on the wall side you better to concentrate or put more meshes or refine your meshes around the wall for that reason I would for example go to the edge uh, sizing number two which is really this edge and then I change the bias type from no bias to this one and if I zoom here if I just zoom here on this edge 
uh, have a little bit problem because I don't have my mouse. I'm yeah. So if you zoom here and you change your bias factor from zero to ten, you can immediately see that the meshes are more concentrated on this bottom side, which is not uh, what I wanted. I want to to concentrate my mesh or refine my mesh on the top side. So I have to change it from this to this. And then you can see that the meshes are more concentrated around the top side. You would do exactly the same for the other edges, for the other edge, which is edge sizing number three. And then this time you go to the bias type from no bias to this one. And then uh, the bias factor 10. Make sure that the mesh is really refined around the wall and not the axis. And this you can always uh, check it with the bias type and just zooming on the edge size, uh, on the edge side to see uh, which side it's really concentrating the mesh. And now I have changed the bias factor and uh, on these two edges, and then I would like to generate again. Now you can see that the mesh is really nicely concentrated on the wall side. This is uh, purely uniformly distributed along the uh, both uh, length and radius. And our mesh is really ready to import to the ANSYS Fluent and run the simulation. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I would come with more videos about meshing and uh, the other options that you that is available in the uh, meshing tool. Uh, before I finish this uh, tutorial, or uh, I would like to emphasize on one more thing. If you select the edge, uh, edge again on the top side, and you select this edge, for example, and right-click on that, you can create the name selection. This step is important, especially when you export your mesh to the Fluent, and you want to define the boundary conditions. If you don't uh, make proper name, for each edge or for each boundary, uh, then you have uh, then it's really getting then it's really getting uh, difficult to uh, select the proper boundary condition. It will be very confusing. So this one, for example, the left side, I would call it inlet. The bottom one, right click, create name selection. I would call it axis. The top side, right click name selection wall and the same for the the right one i right click yes i right click on this edge and then create name selection and the outlet I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will come with more videos next time. Talk to you later, guys.